Hello everybody, we're back here with another episode of Dinosaur Island, and this time we're going to have uh, some interesting new landscape additions. So, get ready, get set, let's go! Here, we see a T-Rex, or actually a family of T-Rexes, feeding on what looks like, well, a dead T-Rex. But they appear not to be enjoying it. For one purpose, this T-Rex appears to be sort of rotted out. Very rotted out. And that's because of one reason. The river may be flowing, but there's not much moisture in the air despite this. The reason for this is because the river may be flowing, but the pond is not filling very much. This is not good for certain animals like the Chronosaurus, who has a gum infection, as you can see. Here, we see Serena and Barry, or Serena and Onyx, sorry, and they appear to have a baby. Finally, their eggs must have hatched. Uh, they're by the river. Barry's probably looking for fish. He's probably trying to dig out some, like, buried lungfish, because there still isn't much water in the creek. There's some, but not much. The lake is starting to fill up, but it still has a ways to go. Here we see the herd of Brachiosaurus. They are uh, definitely not happy about this, uh, this drought. Two days later, and as we can see, as you can see, the lake is finally pretty much filled up. As you can see, the Chronosaurus is getting a breath at the surface before he dives back in. Meanwhile, over by the river, we can see that it is filling up quite nicely. And some animals are coming over to drink from it. <laughs> are two, um, Daspletosaurus. As you can see, they have a little blood on them, which is actually probably from them fighting off other predators. For, uh, lots of times during droughts, predators fight over what little water and food is what's left, um, is left. Uh, certainly very common. <laughs> the male Dusplitosaurus lowers his nose towards the water and begins to drink. Soon joined by his mate. It is not only the dinosaurs that are flourishing. Up in the skies, pterosaurs are flying once again. <coughs> this pterosaur is flying over the plains. <coughs> Look at it. It goes over everything. It is unexplainably free. It has a life like no other creature ever. It is snagged a fish. And it is preparing to land next to the lake to stop and eat it. 
He has landed and he folds up his wings. He's just about to start eating when suddenly. <laughs> The Kronosaurus has gotten his first meal in literally months. Meanwhile, we see this Codipteryx digging out a nest. quite a vocal little animal. His feathers are quite pretty and striking, probably to impress mates and scare off predators. He's digging out a nest, but what he does not know is that he is being stalked. Only a few meters away, we see a Giganotosaurus. The Giganotosaurus has successfully um, killed the Caudipteryx and begins to feed. The Giganotosaurus is much enjoying his feast. Only a few meters away, we see a Dilophosaurus waiting for the perfect opportunity to steal the Giganotosaurus's food. The Giganotosaurus is powerful. This is not going to be an easy fight for the Dilophosaurus, but he is going to try anyway. The Dilophosaurus moves towards the carcass. He pulls out some guts and begins to feed. It's feeding happily until the Dilophosaurus manages to escape. But he is not going to give up this easily. He wants his, he wants the, um, bits of meat he ripped out from the carcass. They are rightfully his, after all. But the Giganotosaurus will never let him have them. Right as he's about to pick it up, the Giganotosaurus moves in and grabs the piece of meat. They are fighting over it. It's a tug of war. <laughs> But the Dilophosaurus never stood a chance against this Giganotosaurus. <laughs> now, he returns to feeding peacefully. Meanwhile, we see the lake. And the Stegosaurus are moving towards the lake. Most of the members of this herd have regrouped. There has even been a few new babies. <coughs> the Stegosaurus herd is huge and thriving. This Stegosaurus moves into the lake for a drink. He is much enjoying this drinking. There has not been much of this lately. He signals for another smaller individual to
to move into the lake. This small little baby has not had a drink in a long time. He's quite enjoying it. But there might be something happening that isn't the best thing. The rest of the Stegosaurus herd is startled and quickly moves out of the water. They are not sure what just happened until it suddenly dawns on them. They have lost another baby to the Dinosuchus. But the Stegosaurus herd is strong, and they must realize that they have to move on from small tragedies like this. They have other babies. <coughs> they will be fine. They will recover. The Stegosaurus herd is strong. It will never give up. Meanwhile, we see a large hadrosaur nesting ground. There are lots of different hadrosaurs here, like we got a Parasaurolophus with some eggs. We have a Carithosaurus. And over on the edge, we have a couple of Iguanodon. They are close by the stream. <coughs> They're taking a drink. some of the most majestic creatures. They are quite amazing to look at and watch. They are actually fairly close to the Brachiosaurus herd by the lake. Meanwhile, the Corythosaurus on the other side of the nesting ground is digging a nest. <coughs> Nearby the hadrosaur nesting ground, we see a pack of raptors feeding on a dead dinosaur. Looks like a dead iguanodon, actually. <coughs> As you can see, they pulled out most of the guts of this animal. But it is only fair that they each take a turn eating this carcass. This little baby is taking his. And now the adult, like a bull male, is feeding. <laughs> These raptors are very cunning animals, and uh, they are incredible. It's incredible the way they hunt. They actually chase down their prey. Hey, they noticed something. Over by the hadrosaur nesting ground, it's there is a uh, a young 
Myasaura. Perfect prey for a raptor. A raptor can never use too much food. The male is preparing to strike. He has caught his prize and he brings it back to his family. Dinosaurs on Dinosaur Island appear to be very happy today. So, see you next time, everybody. Thank you for watching.